today we will discuss about grid search algorithm grid search algorithm is mainly used for performing optimization we have already discussed what is optimization optimization is the process of finding the best value finding the best value x star for which for which the objective function f of x star gets maximum or minimum okay so let us see how we can achieve this using grid search algorithm in the previous videos we have seen the depth full search and full blind search the main drawback for these two algorithms are when we are having more number of input variables when we are having more number of input variables and the domain or you can say the range of variables is large when the range is large or when you are having more number of variables in both the cases you will get large solution space okay large solution space so in such a case it is difficult to traverse or traverse or evaluate the objective function to find the best optimum values so in fact i can tell that this large solution space it makes us difficult in finding the optimum value x star within a particular time okay that is a problem in so in grid search algorithm what is happening is in order to rectify that we will reduce the search space okay we will reduce the search space or you can say as a solution space search or solution solution space by discretizing discretizing the ranges ranges of the variable that means you can see if say for example this is x1 this is x2 if x1 takes from 0 to 100 0 to 100 here also x2 takes from 0 to 100 so if you want to evaluate the objective function either dfs or uh, full blind search we have to evaluate over the entire search space over entire search space okay that is the problem entire search space so what we will we are doing is we are discretizing in terms of step size okay so instead of evaluating the objective function f of x at each and every point we will discretize that means let us suppose this is x1 again the x2 in grid search we will assume a step size of n so we will divide the ranges of x1 equally similarly here also by discretizing the search space we will get the points something like this so for these points for these points for these points you can see 
limited number of discrete points we will evaluate the f of x with the help of full blind search algorithm or disk uh, depth full search algorithm so after finding this discretization we will apply full blind search or depth full search thereby you are saving the time thereby you are ready, you are saving the time so this is what is happening you are discretizing into fixed intervals and then we are finding the optimum solution with the help of uh, evaluation fbs full blind search or depth full search okay so this is what is happening in the grid search algorithm so we are discretizing the ranges of the variables and then we are framing the solutions and for those solutions we are evaluating the function with the help of depth full search algorithm or full blind search algorithm okay so you need to define step size with the help of step size step size denoted by n let us see okay this step size it can be constant or it can be variable so correspondingly we can have different types of algorithm first we will study the standard grid search algorithm so with this basic understanding i will go for standard grid search algorithm standard grid search algorithm standard grid search algorithm so let us write the algorithm for first we have to find out what are the inputs for this algorithm we have to define the step size step size for each variables in the solution so it will be in the form of a vector vector with step size for each dimension because we told you if you are having you want to find out the x solution vector it can be comprises of small x1 small x2 and so on small x d where d is the dimension or you can say as a number of variables in the solution vector okay that's what we are doing here generally it is represented in the form of a vector and next thing is you have to specify the vector vector of lower range values vector consisting of with lower range values for each dimension for each dimension you have to specify the lower range you can see in our previous uh, diagram what is the lower range for x it is 0 you can see this the upper range is 100 so this you have to specify similarly for x2 the range is 0 to 100 so this is for example so the lower vector it should be since we are having two variables 0 comma 0 you have to specify a column vector okay similarly upper vector is you have to define 100 comma 100 it is a vector column vector okay and the next thing is you have to define the upper vector upper column vector it is also a vector with higher range values for each dimension 
okay and the next thing is you have to pass the objective function you can call it as a objective function or evaluation function and the finally you have to specify the what is the type whether we want to find out min or max okay and what is the output for this algorithm so it is a list object comprises of optimum solution and its evaluated value okay so first you need to understand what are the arguments you have to uh, send in the form of input and then output what is output you should get and the next thing is we will write the algorithm in step by step manner step 1 you have to name the function define the function which accepts so i am telling the standard grid search algorithm okay with the help of full blind search technique we have to pass step size the lower vector upper vector and then the type after defining that the step 2 is you have to define the or initialize the dimension okay dimension or you can say uh, number of variables also let us define one parameter called d it is called the dimension dimension of the solution vector which you can get with the help of length of step okay it will give you the number of variables this is step 3 and the next thing is here we are going to implement the grid search algorithm based on full blind search algorithm okay so in full blind search we have already seen we have to generate all permutations of the solutions and store it in the matrix okay so we will do that only okay so the next step initialization means you generate a x the solution vector and what is the next one okay x a sequence what is the range of values that x can take we are using we can use the uh, sequence function lower upper and what is the step size here you will get the step size how to discretization okay this is the discretization step we are going to use so in step 3 we are performing the discretization of the input variables and once you got it you, you know how many uh, number of ranges are there length of x and step 5 uh, once you got all these things uh, there is one function is there in uh, uh, r so permutation function so you just pass the n value and the dimension d so it will give you the different permutation combinations okay it will give you the different combinations so n is the number of solutions you want and then you will get the search matrix the search matrix in step 6 you pass this step matrix let us say 
you pass the search matrix to your uh, full blind search algorithm which we discussed in our previous video full blind search algorithm search matrix and also you pass the function and the type so it will return the list object in the step 7 you can return the list object return yes ok finally you can close this algorithm in step 8 as uh, end function end statement end function gate sets ok So actually you can name the function also <coughs> you can give the name also since we are designing the function for uh, grid search algorithm you can write grid search g grid search here also you can write grid search algorithm ok. So, this is how uh, you can define you can write the grid search algorithm with the help of uh, full blind search technique actually we are calling this full blind search algorithm you can see the step 6 with the help of this function we are achieving the functionality of grid search technique. So, you can also implement this uh, grid search using uh, depth first search technique also. So, let us see how you will implement. <coughs> let us see the implementation of grid search using DFS. So, we have already seen in DFS we have to use a uh, vector list ok correspondingly we have to change the algorithm let us see what are the inputs. So, the input is same so you have to define the step size step which is a vector vector with a step size for each dimension and lower means we have to define the vector with lower range values for each dimension. you have to define the upper vector containing upper range values for each dimension and finally define the evaluation function your objective function and then the type it can take either min or max depending upon the minimization maximization. So, next thing is uh, to define the output output is always it returns a list consisting of optimum solution and evaluated ok. So, with this uh, we are we will go to try to implement uh, algorithm write the algorithm. Step 1 first step is uh, you have to find the number of variables. So, or you can say dimension 
which you can get with the help of length function apply on the step vector so here this is for number of variables number of variables and the next thing is you better you since you need to initialize uh, you you are using dfs better you need to initialize uh, a vector list okay so this is the syntax we are using vector defining the list type of d size so this is a simple declaration uh, declaration declaration of of vector list okay and the next thing is step 3 so you need to fill the values of the domain vector okay so we are using the for loop we are using the for loop for i equal to 1 running from d step 4 within the for loop you have to initialize the domain domain vector so each i corresponds to one variable here so which you can initialize with the help of the sequence function so with the help of this function you can create a range of values from lower to higher with prescribed step size okay so upper of i and the step size is is given with the help of the vector step vector and uh, step 5 you can end this and for loop and finally in step 6 you can uh, you can call your uh, uh, df depth first search algorithm you can call the dfs algorithm and you can pass the domain list domain is equal to domain please domain and uh, pass the objective function and then pass the type also whether we want uh, min or max okay and finally in step 7 you can uh, uh, return return the list object yes so that means uh, you can write yes dollar you want a solution la since or you can just throw the yes object so once you got the list object uh, you can extract the elements in the list with yes dollar yes dollar optimal solution yes dollar okay so that is how uh, you can uh, write algorithm or uh, I, i if you want i will write it more clearly more clearly yes dollar evaluated value similarly in our previous case also you can write like this so you, you want more clearly you can write since it is throwing a object list object yes dollar optimum solution yes dollar evaluation so this also you can write okay so this is how uh, you can write the algorithm
Thank you students for listening. Thank you students.